Not all neutrophil granules are the same. They produce various classes. Primary, secondary, and tertiary granules form at different stages of neutrophil development. They possess different enzymes and may have different functions. For example, tertiary granules are more likely to be secreted from the cell, while primary granules are more likely to fuse with the phagosome to help digest a bacterium which has undergone phagocytosis. Some of these, such as the primary granules, can be subdivided into smaller subpopulations which vary in size and the enzymes that they contain. There are diverse antimicrobial chemicals in these neutrophil granules which can work in different ways. Defensins are small molecules which can complex together and form pores on bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and enveloped viruses contributing to their destruction. Lysozyme destroys the cell walls of bacteria. The BPI, or bactericidal permeability increasing protein, binds to gram-negative bacteria. The MPO, or myeloperoxidase enzyme, interacts with hydrogen peroxide to form the toxic hypochlorous acid, which can destroy microbes. Not only can the antimicrobial components of these granules destroy microbes as the granules fuse to the phagosome, which contains the ingested microbe, they can also be secreted and thus create a toxic environment around the cell. If the neutrophil has died and expelled its chromatin, forming an extracellular trap, these antimicrobial chemicals will stay in the vicinity of the dead neutrophil and may even bind to the chromatin molecules and thus increase the concentration of these antimicrobial chemicals in the vicinity of the injured area. Some of these granules are pro-inflammatory and attract other components of the immune system, including the T cells of the adaptive immune system. Some of these chemicals may activate other components of the immune system and thus they can have prolonged effects on microbes even after the short-lived neutrophils are no longer present.